about a little over a year ago, I made a video about me trading in, well, not trading 100%, but selling a Vizio 50-inch 4K HDR smart TV to one of my friends for about 200 bucks. And then I said in the video that I was going to upgrade to a 55-inch 4K Sharp brand HDR smart TV. Well, I get that TV and it was a great quality picture that I have ever seen in my life and it still is leading to this day even though I bought it a year ago on December the 13th of 2018 and something has been a little bit wrong with it and I'm just now understanding that it's a manufactured issue okay the quality picture of it is like I said it's still really great it's still gorgeous leading to this day but it does play your games in HDR it is an HDR as well of a smart TV and the thing that I noticed about the HDR and when I first got the TV I personally thought that that was just how the TV performed and it may still honestly be but I ignored it for the longest time of you know with the HDR issue that the TV has and I like I said I ignored it for the longest time and you know here just recently I just decided you know hey let's look into the TV and see why it's doing this now because what my mostly hyped and hope was was to get another 55 inch 4k HDR smart TV to hook up into my bedroom when I lived at my other apartment so I get that TV hooked up and I got her and like I said it was the like it was like the best quality picture that I have seen ever I mean it's even better than the LG one that I have in my front room right now at the moment that I'm recording off of even though the LG is still really good it still has like a super high refresh rate than most TVs that I've owned like my games play way more smoother on this one but the picture is still really great but it's just not as great as the shark was but as I was saying I get the TV to get home I hook it up and then you know the HDR mode just it was like it started to flash back and forth between two different sets of colors now this is where the part that I thought that it was the TV alone and how it performed but somehow from what I got after contacting the main manufacturer and asking a couple friends that is smart with this type of technology something was not made right or something was going out and it wasn't manufactured right so my plan is for this week especially today I am honestly going to be selling it to my best friend for $175. I ain't selling it for any more than at least $200 at the most because of I spent about $400 on it and I had it for a year. And with the HDR just switching back and forth with, you know, just a little of an issue, my friend doesn't really mind for the HDR. But for somebody that doesn't care for the HDR on the TV, it, it, it's it's a damn worth of a buy because he's buying it for 175 bucks if he just wants to play standard 4k gaming or standard 1080p gaming the tv is a freaking must worth of a buy i mean you're talking about 4k and crisp 1080p 55 inch a smart tv that you can use for only literally 175 bucks that is a fucking deal right there that is a deal breaker so, once I get this TV sold, there is actually two other TVs that I am actually going to buy. Not two of them. There's just two of them that I'm trying to decide on is what I meant to say on which one I want to buy. So, I didn't know until I watched one of my YouTubers that I watched a lot off and on. I always watch his new videos that he talks about gaming. And if you're wondering what YouTuber I'm talking about, it's Review Tech USA. Now, he is one of the 
I'm one of his biggest YouTuber fans out there. I watched all of his videos that talks about gaming. As soon as he uploads or I get on YouTube and I see a recent upload from him. So, he mentioned something that I did not know when I watched one of his last recent videos just yesterday morning. And he bought a 50 inch TV that was only just a standard 4K for literally 190 bucks. And right there is also still a pretty good deal. But it, it did not have HDR. But it had four HDMI ports, which is really great. And it, that TV was also good worth of a buy. Now, here's what he mentioned. He mentioned that a lot more TVs that are coming out right now and probably a lot more over the last year or so are starting to have composite and component cables unhooked. Well, not hooked into the TV is what I mean. Like, if you're wanting to play a PlayStation 2 or original Xbox or a game console that was older than the Xbox 360 or PS3 or you wanted to play your PS3 or your 360 but you didn't have an HDMI cord and you only had the original cords that they came with. So that's what really gets me a little bit worried. So I looked into the TV that I was originally going to buy this coming up week and it's it's really still possible that I might end up buying it. I'm not quite for sure, but that's why I'm going to ask all of you guys that are subscribed to my YouTube channel. So, there's two different Samsung TVs that I'm looking into buying. One is for $350, and it only has two HDMI ports, and it does not have no compositing component port, and it is a 4K HD, HDR smart TV, and it is 55-inch and then there's another one that's for $100 more for like 447 bucks, And it has three HDMI ports. And it does also have the positive and component port. So that's what's getting me a little bit confused. Because I'm like, huh, do I really want the one that doesn't have the composite and component and save the $100 and with one less HDMI port? Or do I want to have that one? in case I ever do go back and play my, like, older system. So, like, it's just a really tough choice. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to be getting one of those two TVs. I just don't know which one. But you guys let me know in the comment section down below on which one you think I should get. If you think I should get the cheaper one that only has two HDMI ports and no component port, or if I should just spend the extra $100 and get the one with the component port and the extra HDMI port. So, yeah, so just let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts. I just wanted to uh, ask about what your thoughts are on this and which one you think I should possibly get. But this week sometime, I am going to literally be getting one of those TVs and they are going to be my newest front room entertainment, system. entertainment TV is what it's going to be. So... Just rate, comment, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And hit a like if you still enjoy the video. And like I said, comment down below of your thoughts. And we will catch you on the next video. And before I end this video, I will be talking about the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Scarlet that the rumor has been about, about the power and such, probably on my next video. If I do it later, it'll either be later this evening or sometime tomorrow. But, uh... Yeah, so rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next video, so catch you later. Peace.